My name is Laura Sulacava, and this is my monologue. A pencil has to be just right. Never too sharp, never too dull. If it's too sharp, it might poke me and I'll get lead poisoning and die. I saw a show about that once. People dying of lead? Oh, yes, and going nuts. I seem to remember Van Gogh got so much lead poisoning, he cut off his own ear. Ouch. That's like out of Shakespeare. Friends, Romans, countrymen. Lend me your ear. <laughs> Ouch. Too sharp. Now let's try to be a bit dull. Dullness has its merits. You can't get hurt. People don't expect as much from you. You do the job, but never for too long. Dull it is. Now we're ready. I know. I know. I will address it to Mr. God. You've nagged me a million times about this, I know. Just. Just, just give me time, okay? This is an important letter, so I don't want to rush it, okay? <sighs> Dear God, I seem to have found something that is yours. A few nights ago, I was sitting in bed, sleeping, I think, and then there she was. She was at my bedside, all white and glowing, rocking in my granny's old chair. I couldn't really look at her, though. She was all bright like the sun, giving me those spots in my eyes, those ones you have to blink away until they're gone. I must say, I was a bit scared and threw the covers over my head. When I looked again, she was still there. I couldn't believe. I said, you're hurting my eyes. Kind of a silly thing to say. Why didn't I say, are you a ghost? Or something a bit smarter. She said she was sorry and vanished. I was worried I'd licked a few too many pencils and was gonna cut off my own ear. But then I heard her voice. She told me how she had fallen and couldn't get back home. Her wings were broken and she couldn't fly. Are you an angel? I asked her. She said she was. I told her she could stay. See, I don't have many people here. Just mom. I thought she could hang out with me. She said yes, but now mom wants her to go away. She said it's not good for me to be talking to her. I thought mom liked angels, but I guess not. Anyway, can you send a car around or a winged chariot or something to pick her up? She wants to come home now. Sincerely, Billy Graham. <laughs> I wonder if God will know which Billy Graham is writing him. I bet I will get his attention, that's for sure. Now how do I send this? Does God have a P.O. box? Is it like Santa Claus, you know, like Santa, North Pole, God, Heaven? What? Burn the letter? Why? Will that work? If you say so. Mom hides the matches from me. They're over here. I think there's a reason she does. I got this from Motel 6. Nice, huh? I collect these things. Every time Grandpa used to take me somewhere, I'd get one. No, they're free. They have all kinds of free stuff in, like, motel rooms. They have pens and notepads and towels. Grandpa liked it all. He said he always wanted to get his money's worth. And that's that. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I hope to hear from you guys.